Good morning. So I want to take a few minutes talking about Girls Who Code, um, specifically the Girls Who Code um, Hawking, at Hawking College. Um, the name of our chapter is Girls Who Rock and Code, which I thought was kind of a fun play upon, you know, the, what the organization is and, you know, the Hawking Hills area for what it's known for, the natural beauty and surroundings um, that's around the Hawking College area. So if you're not familiar with Girls Who Code, it's a national nonprofit organization um, that is aimed at introducing girls to the wide world of fun of coding. And it gets them started at the very basic level and helps build up their confidence and the things that they can do and the things that they can create. And just to, as they grow in the program and they grow in, you know, in their own lives, that they'll be more inclined to see that this is a potential pathway for them. You know, whether it be the technical aspects of it, um, the creative aspects of it, just something that this is definitely an opportunity for them. And one of the um, tools that we use is actually a program called Scratch. And you can see it's scratch.mit.edu. It's a free program. Anybody can join um, and use the resources. And um, it's the .mit means it was created by MIT, the school MIT. And um, I think my first introduction with Scratch was whenever I visited Harvard um, last year may have seen it before then I can't recall but my first like in-depth introduction of it was um, when I went to Harvard last year uh, for a CS50 um, boot camp and they actually use this at Harvard CS50 is a computer science program it's a very popular computer science program if you have more questions on that you know let me know and I'll direct you on that it's free free as well and the and just it's a fun little program it's kind of cartoonish but that is the appeal of it so you can create um little projects using code uh the interface graphical in interface is a little bit more user friendly like it has this and just kind of connect the blocks like when something is clicked um something will happen with this little character um so you know, that's the one of the tools that we use to just introduce the concepts of coding and how it is. Um, because sometimes if you're just looking at the text editor, it can be a little scary because so you're not sure what to put in. Um, but that's just kind of how we start getting girls um, used to it, like the concept of it. Don't worry about the details of it, just kind of get used to the con concepts of it. It's kind of like the forest for the trees thing. You need to focus on that, the big picture, not just the little my new, my new details, my new details come later on. So um, who can join? Anyone, anyone can join. It, it is tech, it is called Girls Who Code, but you know, if there's any um, young gentlemen out there that are interested in joining, they're more than welcome. Um, there are two different age groups. There's third through fifth graders, and then there's sixth through 12th graders. Um, both of them are going to be using the Scratch program that I just showed you a little bit ago. The thing that we're going to do with the older group is um, there's women in tech lessons. It's also through Girls Who Code. And the first lesson that we're doing is actually robotics. Um, I have a couple ideas on one of the things, some of the things I wanted to do with this. I don't know if it's going to actually play out this summer. Um, it may be a next year kind of goal. Um, but it's the concept is to kind of combine with what we're doing with Amazon Web Services and machine learning. Um, and with robotics, but anyways, we are going to learn about robotics, um, if nothing else this summer. Let's see. How much does it cost? It costs nothing. Okay. Um, Hawking College is covering all the cost of it. The, we're going to provide food or snacks depending on the time of the day. And you just have to show up and have fun. In the places that we're doing them, you don't need, even need a computer, um, because the computer's already provided which kind of goes to my next thing, where and when. Um, for the 6th to the 12th graders for the, and the recent graduates, if you graduated this year, congratulations, and you're more than welcome as well. Um, we are going to be at the Ohio Means Jobs Office in the Plains. So from Hawking College, it's probably about a 15-minute drive. Um, and it's Thursdays starting today. Uh, June 6th is the first day from noon to one. 
So we're going to have pizza. Now space is limited there. So I need to, you guys to text me to RSVP if you're interested in joining. We actually have a couple spots open still today if you're interested in coming out. Oop, didn't want to do that. For the third and fifth graders, it's going to be at Hawking College Nelsonville campus, which is where I'm at right now. Thursdays, 5.30 to 6.30. So again, to this evening, now we have a lot more space on that one because we're using the Hawking College Lab um, and, you know, just to show up on that one, really. Um, we're in the Oakley building and I'll give you my contact information on in the next slide so you can text me if you have any questions or get lost as a heads up. This is also the week of the Nelsonville Music Festival. So some of the roads are closed and yeah, the parking lot's going to be a little bit more crowded than usual. Um, for the third and fifth graders, I forgot to mention, is um, we also use this cute little book. It's called Girls Who Cut, obviously, and it talks about, it's a textbook, which is, you know, fun to read. Um, I actually enjoy reading this, and I have some, some of my, uh, my college students who read it, and they like it because they help participate with Girls Who Code. I messed up my cover. But... Um, Anyway, so this is one of the books that the, the girls get free of charge as well. Um, I just need to get them registered and with the Girls at Code headquarters, and they will send us those books. So um, how can you find out more? You can email me at pinwellt31810 at hawking.edu, and you can text me. That's my personal um, text number. So just you know, text me if you have any questions, if you're interested in coming out, not sure where we're at, get lost. Not sure what you need to do. Just want some more information. You know, you got my information right there. Um, I hope to see you guys. This is going to be a really fun experience. We're doing this all summer until the first week of August, minus July 4th, because it's July 4th. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, reach out. And I hope to see you guys there. See ya.